Hello, today we're looking at LMDE Free Cindy, also, know, also known as Linux Mint Debian Edition. And this is a very beautiful release, but th this is the rolling release of, or the Debian re based release of Linux Mint, and it is not as well, well used, as often used as as Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, but it's a very beautiful, stable, great Debian based operating system. They use the same front end software features, wallpapers, Mint, and Cinnamon Edition as your Linux Mint 19 release, and I didn't make a video of Linux Mint 19 because I, due to my situations and where I was and location was, I couldn't, I couldn't continue with this channel for a while, but I came back and that's fantastic. And so this is my first video with, for this channel based for Linux Mint 19 and LMDE 3. And this is, this is, this is the Saber release. And there's many things I like about this release, like I like their new welcoming app. It's much more clean, not overloading and just a very nice release. You can uh, run your updates, snapshots which, snapshots which we're going to talk about soon, documentation, you can check it out, Con do, do not, donate this great I'm sorry, my voice is a bit messed up. I'm kind of sick today. <laughs> but I love this channel. I love you. That's why I'm making this video. So it is Cinnamon 3.8. If you go to system, system settings. And as you can see, Cinnamon 3.8.8. So it's not yet 4.0, which I'm currently working on. Kernel 4.9, so it's a bit old because it's based on Debian Stretch, Debian 9. So it's a bit old, but it's... And you will see a lot of the hard software, like LibreOffice is still LibreOffice 5. Things like that, it's a bit dated because it's based on Debian, Debian 9, but you can, you know, Debian sit like the rolling release, but you can easily, but you can easily with flat up, flat, flat text, which is already by default it's, um, installed in this release, or even, or even with snap packages, you can get the latest packages easy to this release. And Cinnamon, I love the new Cinnamon layout. I think this is absolutely beautiful, this icons, this, this layout. I think from 18 and cinnamon LMDE to they made a beautiful upgrade to make, to make cinnamon, to make Lensman 19 and LMDE beautiful. It is still using Nemo File Manager 3.8.5 and if you look at the, I'm not gonna go through everything, I'm just gonna look at the things that stands out for me about this release and that's for me, I guess the main things which you are also interested in. And as you can see, they are using Mint Y by default, but you can easily go to the dark theme or Choose Mint X. I love the dark and white co co combination, which is my favorite setup. <laughs> and so basically, usage system usage wise, we can open this up. It's about seven, 700, 800 megabytes of RAM. I got a dual core i5 processor, processor in this virtual machine. And one thing that got major, 
major update is the update miniature. One thing which was always for me like I like Lancement, I like I can see why people who are switching to from Windows to to Linux can will really find this familiar with the beautiful, simple, well known classic desktop environment. But one thing that always bugged me if I think back about it was automatic updates. I wanted to have a way to have automatic updates and you would also notice that there's no any more options to have, to keep your system safe or like the average updates of everything. You get everything all the time now, which is fantastic because I saw other operating systems do it and I never really saw a problem. I never saw anything truly break, which is fantastic. But if you go to edit to your system settings, you have now the option. It's an opt-in option, so it's not on you. You are having it or not. You can run updates automatically. Which for me is a major one because I realize many people, because as a sys admin, I worked with 80% of my systems was running Ubuntu and I realize people don't update their computer. Many people. I'm not saying all, but people who just want to work on the system don't really care about, just want to get the work done. The updates come up, ah, let's forget about it. So this is brilliant. It runs updates in the background and you don't have to worry about it. And you can also configure what type of updates you want and the levels of updates you want, so you don't have to get everything. You can manage your updates also very nicely here by ticking the ones off which you don't want, or blacklists, those you just want. And then one thing which I always, because what I bought into Linux Mint 18.3, which wasn't in LMDE, is snapshots. They use time shift which you can install in any Linux-based operating system, but it's the most well integrated in Linux. Basically, if you look at your Windows operating systems, you get your system, res system restore points. When you mess up your system, it doesn't touch your files and documents, but it moves your system back as what it was. This is exactly what it is. And it's just better. So basically, we won't run the whole thing because I should have done it at the beginning and because it takes quite a while to do it. But it basically will make a snapshot. You can choose how often and how long it must be kept and things like that of your system. By default, not your home folder because it will just become too big. So it's not a backup solution. It's a system restore solution. You can choose what you want. Let's say weekly, um, say f five times, so five times, uh, it, well, once a week it will make a snapshot and you will keep five. It sounds fine with me. So it's not your home folder, so it's not a backup solution, but it's, and I tested it out, it works very well you can restore your system if anything major bad has happened or you del or you remove the program which you really didn't want to move or a whole something you can restore back. So it's a fantastic, well integrated, it looks great on Linux Mint, it works out of the box and your update manager works fantastic with it so it expects you to have it and if you upgrade, if this is again for Linux Mint, if you upgrade it from 80.3 to 19, you can't do it without a snapshot. So it's something they really believe in, in and I tested it, it works really well. And you can also browse, browse your current snapshots easily. And wallpaper wise, they got all the wallpapers of Linux Mint 19. Tara is even called Tara, Tara 
So it's exactly the same in that sense. LFDE2, the previous one, had a Mate edition and a cinnamon edition. I'm not sure about this release. I can't have doubt it, but if it's gonna come out, we will make a video of it. As you can see, my battery is slowly <laughs> running out, but in general, I really, really, really like this. And I've, it's a bit slow now because of the up, of the system restore running in, because it's creating the first snapshots, but it will do it automatically. You won't even notice it. And, as you can see, it's still gonna take it. It's still gonna be a while for it to run, so I'm not gonna spend all your time looking at how it's <laughs> creating a snapshot. But yeah, this is basically what I'm thinking about this operating system. I think it's wonderful with things which I should mention, which you won't see now. Is you if you install this in the virtual machine. You will have to install guest editions by yourself, it's not by default. Which is very simple, you just Google install guest editions in Debian 9. And there's a great article by Linux Babe, which pops up at the beginning, first or second. It works beautifully and easy to, easy to run. And also the boot, the grab menu, which you start of a, start of your system with. It doesn't look, it looks all this, but it doesn't, it's not bad, it works, and your system looks beautiful. So yeah, aside from that, I love it, and I think it's a great release. And yeah, thank you for watching, see you later, goodbye.